as I think it's fair to say that um, this turtleneck doesn't look cute on me. I think it also really doesn't go with my skin tone. Turtleneck isn't working for me. But I filmed it now, so I'm just going to roll with it. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new here, I am Sabrina. I hope you're all very well. Before I get started with this month's new in video, no. Before I get started with this month's favourite videos, I thought I would touch on a topic which I have been talking about a little bit on my Instagram, and that's whether I will be doing unboxings or not be doing unboxings, or in terms of my YouTube, whether I'll be doing new ins or won't be doing new ins, <sighs> or like Mail Mondays. And I'm probably not going to do them. Um, I kind of started doing them because I thought it was a good way for the PR to get some um, coverage and for me to be able to like thank the PR but also for you guys to see what's new on the market. However, um, I spoke about this on my Instagram and like, this isn't 100% certain so you could possibly still twist my arms so do leave me a comment down below with your thoughts but um, I've been talking to quite a lot of you on Instagram and a lot of people have said that it often comes as across as boastful not necessarily just mine but just generally the topic of unboxing and that it's also not that beneficial for PRs because often it's just like hey this is what I got rather than it comes out on this day in these different shades or like or it was inspired by something it's just very much like a instant um, first impressions which aren't always that informative and I will be the first person to say that mine are often not informative. Basically I'm unsure as to whether we're going to carry on doing those but probably not. I also don't like having to upload on a Monday, um, it just seems to be a day that doesn't really work for me especially because I like to upload on a Sunday as well and I just think that realistically for my channel going forward I'm going to look of other ways to talk about beauty products. So for example I think I'm going to be doing my monthly favourites again which I kind of stopped towards the end of last year and also I think I might do like maybe my top 10 new launches of the month because I think that gives me opportunity to kind of try them a bit more and talk about them a bit more but you'll probably still get stuff like new in at the drugstore rather than an actual unboxing so basically just a little bit different but I really hope that you guys still enjoy it and generally I think my content will be changing a tiny bit um that my next video I think might be kind of travel related um, I'm just going to give it a go, see what you guys like, see what you guys don't like, so do let me know in the comments if you like a video, if you don't like a video, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. Today I am doing my January, January monthly favourites and can I just say I am so damn excited for January to be over with. I really, really, really struggle with January. Oh, it just sucks. It's just the weather. Actually, it's probably just the weather and how dark it gets so early on. Um, and I'm just really fed up for January. I am so excited for spring and summer. And today was quite a sunny day, so I was like, hmm, spring is that you? And I'm really hoping, I mean, I, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. It is just the end of January, but I'm very excited. Next month, I am off to Barcelona, so that's something to look forward to. It's also my birthday on the 5th of February, so pretty soon, maybe next week depending on when I upload this but at the moment it's the week after next which is exciting so bring on February basically and oh my god we're almost five minutes into this video and I haven't told you about my monthly favourites so let's get started with that I'm gonna do beauty favourites but I'm not gonna do fashion favourites because I'm gonna do my winter most worn um, in a video in a couple of weeks maybe next week I'm not sure so beauty favourites my favourite cleanser at the moment is the rejuvenating frankincense refining cleanser by Nils Yard I've really been enjoying this it's not an overly like fancy or I don't know it's just like a, it's just a nice cleanser which which removes all your makeup and leaves your skin feeling really nice and clean without stripping it I have just really, really been liking this. It's 96% organic apparently. Um, I massage it onto dry skin and then I just take it off with like a, a hot cloth. And sometimes I find that like hot cloth type cleansers are really, really drying. This one isn't and it works really well on my dehydrated skin I find. I feel like this whole like favourites isn't anything new to me, but I haven't done a favourites in so long. So hopefully I haven't spoken about these too much. Um, my favourite eyeshadow palette has hands down been the Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette, which looks like this. I've had this for a while. I kind of went off it a little bit and then I've basically been loving these five colours. I don't really use the other three. This one I don't think I've ever used and the other, the other ones are really, really beautiful. But in terms of like travelling or like staying or not staying at home, it's like a really lovely size to go in your makeup bag um, or in your suitcase. But 
I just really, really love the colours. I'm into really warm eyes at the moment. Um, you can tell that my eye is quite red today. And I've got these three middle colours on. They're my favourite three. Um, more so probably even the bottom two. I could use quite happily on their own. Um, quality of makeup peak shadows is just incredible. I realise I just said this isn't my favourite colour. But just look at how beautiful that is. I just love, love, love their shadows. I'm not 100% sure if I should have spoken about this because I'm not... 100% certain it's a permanent um, eyeshadow palette, but mine is off Cult Beauty, so I'm going to try and link to that down below. But generally, I just love warm palettes, and the Makeup Geek eyeshadow designs I have are all incredible. Lit. Um, Charlotte Tilbury has been leading the way. I've got some Charlotte Tilbury here, there's some Charlotte Tilbury over there. I've basically just used Charlotte Tilbury lipstick all month. I got free for Christmas, and for some reason, that kind of um, reminded me I had some others in my collection, and I've just been using them loads. On my lips today, and this is my favourite combo, I have the Pocket Pal in Kiss Me Quick. It's not a stick, so you have to dip your finger in it and then apply it, but I do really like it. And then over that, just because this is a tiny bit darker than I like for every day, um, I have Miss Kensington, because this is slightly lighter than I like. So, together, they are absolutely perfect, and that's what I've got on today. Usually I do line my lips as well with MAC 12 Lip Liner, but today I didn't. On to brows i've been using two products first one is the liner brow line really like this it's the finest eyebrow pencil i have ever tried it's like a crayon i guess because you twist it up it has a spoolie on the end which i just think is essential with any eyebrow product and it just it's just great i really like it the color is perfect i have the color sable and it's it's quite a cool toned color which is what i like for my eyebrows because although i'm quite warm toned I like a, my hair naturally is slightly cooler and my brows are very cool so I quite like to have a slightly cooler brow. I basically just use this on the beginnings of my eyebrows because they're very sparse and then a little bit on the arch and a tiny bit on the tail as well. Um, and a lot of you have been complimenting my eyebrows, they are awful today. Um, I get my eyebrows done always at Benefit and I love them. They are slightly expensive I, but I do get a tint and a wax there and they're great. But if I'm honest, the reason why my brows look okay despite the mess, because they are really, really messy, is because when I talk, I typically raise my brows, because naturally my brows are like this. Can you see? They're like really low. But for some reason, when I talk, I do this. Um, and they are a bit of a better shape like that. I also highlight lip underneath, which I think helps. I'm not overly, I'm not happy with my brows. They are much better than they used to be, but I would love like a, a bit of a surprised arch. I know it's not a desired look for everyone, but just because my brows are quite low, I would like them a little bit higher. Uh, but basically, Benefit brows are great if you're looking to get your brows done. A bit pricey. Then, a product from Glossier. I've really been liking Glossier, actually. Everything I've tried, I have really, really liked. I'm trying to see if that's true. Yeah, I think that is true. I've tried only a handful of products, but I loved them. If you want a video about my favourite Glossier products, I can do that too. But probably my number one, or my at least my most used, is Glossier Brow Boy. This is great. I have the colour brown um, and I really like it. It's like a brow gel, um, nothing out of this world but I do really like it and it's a little bit cheaper than some of the high end ones um, and it's Glossier and Glossier is cool so. And then a product I don't have to actually hold and show you but I'm going to insert a picture here is my favourite bubble bath and shower gel, we finished it so it's gone in the bin but it is a uh, cow shed, lazy cow, I'm pretty sure it's called lazy cow honestly it smells incredible it's like a really relaxing scent i love it in the bath it cause it makes loads and loads of bubbles which is all what i'm after and it works great it's a shower gel as well and it's in a squeezy bottle you just basically need it i love it i think it's my favorite shower slash bath product a few other things i have been loving this is totally totally miscellaneous okay got a few things I have my little diary here which is why i'm looking down but i love watching series and vlogs like they're my two favorite things i think with both you get to know the characters very well over a prolonged period of time um obviously the vlogs aren't characters but you get to know the people very for very well over a long period of time that's why i love vlogs and series i don't really watch films i think i say that a lot but my absolute favorite vlogger of the moment vloggers is pia and i want to say his name's kano but i don't think it is let's have a quick look Oh, it's Kane. So Pia and Kane, I absolutely love their vlogs. I discovered them, I don't know how, but his vlogs are called The Diaries of an Instagram Husband. Honestly, I have watched an embarrassing amount of their vlogs. I just think they are incredible. I've decided to watch from one onwards, which is a bit crazy because I think they might have like 200. But I've watched probably like the uploads from like the last 
maybe close to a year. Um, they are quite short. I just think they're quite inspiring. They talk a lot about their how they film, how they edit, which is great because I don't think a lot of vloggers do that. And um, I definitely want to vlog a little bit more this year. They are definitely an inspiration. I think if you're looking for some vlog inspiration, they are fab. And more so, like I always mention that I love Zoella's videos, and some of you are like, oh, but she's her audience is typically a little bit younger than mine but what I love about Zoella's videos is that they're usually like quite happy and quite easy to watch and quite fun and honestly Pia and, Kate and Kane's videos are even more incredibly fun and happy Pia's laugh is just infectious she's always happy like I don't understand how that's even possible they're a beautiful couple so they're very easy to watch as well if you're into vlogs they are just amazing then I have also been watching Friends um, which isn't really a favourite if I'm honest like I really really enjoyed it and I'm sure I'm going to continuously watch it um, now that it is on Netflix I have finished it by the way 10 seasons in 25 days but in my defense at the beginning of the month I was quite I was like sick for like a week so um I watched a lot in that period it's just not my favorite I know it's like a controversial comment like I would probably give it a six and a half out of ten I rate everything I watch on IMDb and I would probably I would probably click seven because you can't click and a half over the six because it is good but I just think, you can definitely tell it was filmed in the 90s. There's a little bit of homophobia and sexism. I find Joey very, very... I, I don't know, I don't really like Joey's character because I think they've made him too stupid, especially towards the end of the series at the beginning. He's like a tiny bit stupid but still a little bit witty. Um, I don't like Phoebe's character, but I love Chandler. Chandler, Chandler, Chandler. He is my fave. Um, but another series that I have watched... Um, guys, like January just the beginning of January is basically right off for me, um, which is why I've watched so much stuff. The other series I've watched and which I would highly recommend is Mind Hunter. It's on Netflix. I think it's a Netflix original. Um, it's somewhat quite short. I think it's about you could probably watch it in like six hours or something like that. Um, but it's just amazing. I would highly recommend Mind Hunter. It's a I mean I watched it a little while ago, so I feel like I can't even remember. But it's like a crime thing crime series um but now i'm not sure what to watch i watched one episode of black mirror because i know everyone's loving black mirror i'm not sure it's for me um i think maybe peaky blinders might be my next one i'm unsure let me know what i should watch down in the comments my two favorite snacks my first one is the goodness knows I really really like these i know i spoke the about these in a different video these are really great they're like 150 calories so they're like a reasonable amount um, they've got dark chocolate um, nuts and maybe like cranberries or oh, cranberries and almonds um, really really like these basically they're like a nice hit of sugar when I kind of need something and then if I'm looking for a I don't even know if it's got more calories but I feel like in your I just automatically think that chocolate is going to be worse for me than like a snack bar but my favorite chocolate at the moment has been ripples which I always thought were like a really crappy chocolate but it's like a flake but with actually nice chocolate because I think flakes I just the worst chocolate I don't understand it's like almost white chocolate like it's really powdery I do not like flakes um and I love but I love 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 ripples and then my f current favorite podcast has been I believe it's called keeping it candid and, and it's with Sophie Milner and Millie Cotton I kind of I started listening to it at the gym and actually I thought it was quite good for like motivation not gym motivation um but blogging motivation their most recent podcast was really really amazing so yeah that's my monthly favourites it was a rather long monthly favourites I don't think every month will be this long but I really hope you enjoyed it nonetheless um please like this video if you did enjoy it leave me a few comments I love love your comments I love like interacting with you guys it's probably my favourite part of YouTube I think it works so much better than the blog but I have got some new blog posts coming so definitely check out my blog and my Instagram they're both down below as well and I shall see you all very soon I think in a couple of days I'm really trying to keep this regular trying to stay motivated i'm a little bit happy that mel monday is potentially gone because i, I think like you kind of get into a rut like i have to film that um where i want to kind of film other stuff and like just whatever i fancy filming so that is very exciting so i shall see you all very soon bye